Price number five when selling your house, and this one's gonna really shock you all. I recommend most sellers consider investing in their own building and pest report. They're about $600. I've been doing this for about 10 years, and this is my experience. Sellers that don't invest in their own building and pest report, when they get an offer, and then they sell, the buyer gets one done, there's often issues. So they find problems, they want a $20,000 re reduction. They find problems, they pull out of the sales contract. And it often doesn't end well. Now on newer houses, potentially you don't need a building and pest, but I would say if your house is five years old or more, the advantage on you doing a building and pest and investing $600 means that any issues that you see in the report, you can have fixed and you can have the report then updated. So the buyers will then see the new report and realize that there's nothing wrong with the house. Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, hang on, if we give the buyers our report, won't they still want their own one? That's gonna depend on your sales agent. We still do get that. We get a small percentage of buyers that say, great, we love that you've got, you've got a report done, we're still gonna get our own. But at least we've had a report done and we know what the issues are and we know that their report's gonna say something very similar. But for us, most of the time, the buyers see that they can save themselves $600 by using the report that we've had done, which is completely independent. So what it does as well is it helps move buyers forward and it makes it much easier for them to make an offer because there's a building of pest in front of them and they can make an offer based on that. So that's my tip number five. Might be a bit of a shocker for you, but consider investing $600 in your own building and pest report.